Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Happy New Year, Dr. Gary Peterson. Thank you for joining me today in Dallas, Texas on the Velma Reedy Show. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we've missed talking to you because you bring great information. And today, you're going to help us have a winter survival guide. It's still cold outside. Yes, it is chilly temperatures, and there's a lot of cold and flu going around. Well, give us some tips and tricks that we must have so we can get through this period of time. I always recommend that you wash your hands regularly and that you should carry a hand sanitizer in case you don't have access to soap and water. And I also recommend carrying Coldy's zinc lozenges on you at all times. When you take them at the first sign of a cold, they can reduce the duration of your symptoms by 42%. That's almost half. And that's been clinically found in studies from the Cleveland Clinic and out of Dartmouth. And it's a brand that pharmacists really trust. They come in lozenges, quick melts, gummies, and oral sprays. And you can get them in stores everywhere. Now, specifically at Walmart, they have Defense brand. This has added ingredients with elderberry, which supports immune health. And you can learn about all these products at coldies.com. I have a Facebook question. I'm going to take some of you guys' questions this morning. And one of them is that they take prescribed medications for other conditions. When you take something over the counter, how do you know if it's going to interact or not? I thought that was a good question. That is a very good question because there are certain over-the-counter medications that can interact with your medical conditions. For example, some decongestants can elevate blood pressure. So I would always ask your pharmacist and your physician if there's any issues. The internet can be a good resource, but I wouldn't rely on that alone. Thank you so very much. What else do we need to do to get through the cold and flu season? Because uh, I'm doing a report today. There are several people, or well, multiple people, who have died from the flu. It's very important that you keep your immune system strong. And that includes eating very healthily and getting lots of rest. And I recommend getting a very good night's sleep. And that all starts with something even like a comfortable mattress. I love the one from Nectar Sleep. It's a premium mattress. You can get it at an affordable price. It gives you the support of a firm mattress and also the comfort of the pillow top. And what makes it unique is that it has a combo of four layers, including a cooling gel memory foam. And this combination will circulate air, distribute weight, and contour to your body. So it's a healthier night's sleep, it's firmness that's very supportive, it's softness that gives you rest, and it really promises to be one of the most comfortable mattresses you can sleep on. You can get it at Nectarsleep.com and it arrives directly at your home. It comes in a compressed fashion in a protective carrier with handles, so it's really easy to maneuver. And they even give you a 365 night home trial. So if you're not happy with it, they'll pick it up directly and it comes in twin through California King. Right now they're offering a special of $125 off with two free pillows. And you can learn more about that at Nectarsleep.com. Well, I love a California King. I'm gonna take this Facebook question that correlates with what you're saying. They say, would, they'd, like to know your, um, they'd like to know your opinion on napping. When you work an eight hour day, how does napping fit into that? I'm a big fan of a power nap. If you can steal away 20 minutes for your lunch and you can actually fall asleep during that time, it can be very rejuvenating because typically there's the afternoon slump where people get really tired about 2 or 3 in the afternoon and that can really help prevent that. So go for it. All right then. Well, this one kind of correlates with that. Uh, I'm working, but I can't nap, but I'm doing a 20-minute meditation. Does that 
equal to napping? It's a little different than napping, but it does quiet the mind and gives you some peace and allows you to relax and really reduce your stress. So I think it does give just as many benefits as a nap simply because of the, the stress reduction. Is there anything else we can do to stay healthy through this cold and flu season? I think it's really important to make time to exercise regularly every day if you can and drink lots of water. Dr. Carrie Peterson is a medical con contributor and a columnist for Women's Health Magazine, and she's a frequent spokesperson for products in different locations. So look her up. Dr. Peterson, where can they find out more information for you? They can look me up on Facebook at Dr. Carrie Peterson. Dr. Carrie, thank you so very much. We've missed you, and thank you for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. My pleasure, Valder. Thank you.